It was all a dream on the scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly things. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. Called the weight to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we the dream, dream team. team. <laughs> I was going to get paid for this. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Lyric Kane, a.k.a. Nini, a.k.a. whatever it is that you want to call me. I'm back with yet another reaction video. <laughs> Today, I will be reacting to Cadet Slut Freestyle. Interesting. I see something else by Cadet, and I thought it was pretty, pretty dope. So why not check out something else of his? In the comment section down below, you'll be able to find the original video link as well as all of my social media links. Make sure that you follow us on IG. Best friend since birth. Also, check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also, in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Be careful. Make sure you head over there and check out my music. Say hi. Hi, guys. I'm always giving my two cents on everybody else's music, so you might as well go over there, check it out, and give your two cents on my music. If you like what you see, go ahead and give those videos a thumbs up. Thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right here. Subscribe and turn notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, challenges, and live performances. And we make challenges for every, and we scratch, and everyone scratch our new video. <laughs> That's our favorite part of YouTube, screaming on the camera. Woo! Can you hold this? Yeah. Can you give me a second? Let me finish this and I'll be over there with you, okay? Okay. Won't you take you some paper and go, go sit at your desk? I'll write something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can talk, talk after this, okay? Okay. You gotta close the door, too. Because I can hear everybody out there, and I need to quiet when I do my videos. The life of a mom slash YouTuber. Did she leave? I said, go close the door and come in here and work at your desk. And of course, she leaves. But we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video. I'm pretty sure she'll be back. She likes walking by the back of my videos. Let's see what he got for us. Oh, that's really loud. It is. So I have one inside. Oh my gosh, like nasty loud. Okay. Nothing should be bad. Come in, close the door. And get these papers and go work on your stuff. Hey, hold on, hold on. Also, a big part of my life has been chicks. No, I can't lie about that. But for you to understand, I gotta take you on a journey and bring it right back. Me, I'm talking about chestnut growth. I'm only gonna tell man facts. A young nigga, hairline intact. Yeah, I was getting a gallum like that. See me, I was the man in school. But it's like, I was so up my own ass. My teacher could tell me, come to the front. I'd get a pen and try to teach the whole class. I had four girls, but two wives in school. And that was Sharice and Tara. And I followed Tara on Twitter and Manny. I should have chose Tara, but anyway, I was all young and dumb. I weren't trying to fuck, I was trying to grab bum. A young nigga trying to have fun. You know, happy slap will grab phones and run. And now I'm making a name on the streets. And fam, the first time I had sex, it was peak. But so quick, I didn't know that I'd beat. <laughs> hey yo, the kid was a okay. nigga. Well, you know about me though. I had one message, I'd copy and paste to every girl that's on Bebo. And for far, I picked two man, I was wrong. But that's when the shit got long. It might sound like I'm going off topic, but now I'm gonna tell you how I was a dog. Cause then I went college and I linked up with my boo thing. And I took her off for one light skin you. We wouldn't fuck, but we'd do things. And I cheated on her, she took me back and then she left me as you do. You know, if you take a girl from someone, she can get taken from you. Now, these times she's doing her thing, but she won't tell me that it's over. And my cousin, he pre the whole thing, but he's moving like it's kosher. And I can't lie, that fucked me up. And that might be why I turned cold, cause she done that monkey bar thing. When you swing on, but you don't let go. But it's all good though. But it's on now. I guess I'm a dog now. Trying to find bitches like a dog pound that will blow me like they want to get snot out. And I will keep it more honey with you. Hey fam, I don't know my body count. I've had bare exotic things. Even had a mixed face ginger, but knocked down. How many gal have I beat now? Lost count, I ain't even talking Aki. I toss outs, had some girls. Most men would drop out, but I'm trying to bust my team quick and knock out. And I would rock out with my cock out. Yeah, I was moving scatty. And true say I be kidding. Lot of these girls did fall pussy at me and you ever caught it Dreams that I sold, yeah, some of them bought it but they couldn't afford it And I ain't even talking about bare abortion, that's the deeper subject Don't worry, I talk it, these girls, I wouldn't even have to move up But I'm still picking them up like an Uber I beat one, and she'd say I'm a user Cause like I get around the like whole thing like a rumor yeah. And I remember having a guy on a BB that said If you don't want to beat, delete me, believe me Enough of them girls were freaky, I had girls in sections wanting DP Never once did they get an S and DD I guess I got lucky that my mum is a DP <laughs> Seems be, but they don't give them DD That they automatically want to get Niki me I've had girls say that I'm broke 
But they've seen what I'm making a night and I've heard that my dick is small But they still complain I heard their insides and they even had girls on Twitter Talking like I ain't got change But the same girl said she'll commit suicide if I don't make time and see her in the day See me, I ain't brought a girl home and my family's thinking I'm nuts Even the last girl I killed wifey, something about her I just couldn't trust I just want the girl I bring home to be the only one that I do Just because she might call me a slut, don't mean there ain't shit I ain't been true Like when I got my ex pregnant, been there I would've had to but her parents are Moroccan, so they just saw me as a black you. Now, alhamdulillah, I'm a reaver. But no, they didn't care about Dean. They said culture should go with culture, you know, and that's just how she be. Now, she never told her fam, and I never wanted kids from the start. But that fact that I never had a say, and that's what really sat in my heart like, some real shit. Right? That shit there had me stressing. Because bare people can't have kids in the world. So who are we to say no to a blessing? And when I think back in the days, of course, I would've changed it Cause I'm lucky I ain't got a BM Like the mother used that were just on the same shit uh, And I swear, if God gives me a bag of tops What are they gonna say to my daughter? When she wants to know how her daddy was I mean, cuz, see I was nuts I was out here trying to bust nuts I'm thinking of meeting girls for the first time in name Got of a man we fucked It ain't about who you go bed with It's who's there when you wake up But you ain't gotta take my advice, my G Cause I'm just kidding, aka the slut Man, that right there was definitely dope. Like, what I like most, my favorite part about this entire video. Is it, it's a bug. I know it's a fly. I'll get it though. Here. A bug. It's a fly. What I like about this video was the entire time he was rapping. I don't know if the two girls behind him were with him or who the hell they were, but they 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 were. Bleh, their facial expressions was just. Thanks, mom. Their facial expressions was just so. Like, in shock at things he was saying, like, did he really just say that? That was the most funniest part. Man, but dude has some killer lines in this. Man. Talk about to owning up to what you are. Like, how many people out there can willingly say, like, like, call themselves that? Like, how many people can willingly look at their past and be like, man, I fit in this category because of that? Yeah, exactly. Not that many people. So, big ups to him to recognizing that. And then the part where he said about his ex getting pregnant and the people saying, like, culture should be with culture. Man, it's 2017. I know that. The crawling on them. I know it's a fly, and I'm gonna get it. Okay. The crawling mosquitoes. That's not a mosquito. But it's, it's 2017. <laughs> like, you think people would be over this whole, like, racist would be with certain races. Maybe that's something over there in the UK. I mean, over here, we still struggle with it. And I don't know exactly when that took place. But still, like, man, we got to do better as a culture, as a people. Like, love is love, no matter who is weird or what. And the crazy part is, like, how mature of him it was of him to be, like, although it's not the way he wanted. Like, he wanted to say rather he got to keep his kid or not. He knew that it was not the time or the place because of his actions and the things that he was doing at that time. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Get in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought. I definitely dig it. Right here. First, they're gonna get in the comment section. Let me know what they thought, and then go ahead and like this video. Give it a and thumbs up. up and hit the subscribe button right here. Hit the subscribe button right here. Make sure that you turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. And don't forget to push it. Push it. <laughs> what is that? Um, to mean the subscribe button. Oh, don't forget to push the subscribe button. Peace out, guys. We are here.